На здоровье. На здоровье, Ливан. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, oh, everyone's driving. All right. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. All right. Sophie, it's obviously been a, a career night for you, but when you try to sink in all of the moments, what has been the most surreal about today? Um, all of this, honestly, these past two weeks have been a lot of emotions, a lot of, I mean, you guys could see after the match how much it all meant to me. Um, this is just such an honor. I'm so proud of myself, so proud of my dad, my team, everyone has been around me. Um, we worked all hard, we've been through tough times, but you know what, we did it, we fought, and yeah, I'm just, I'm like on cloud nine right now. <laughs> Good to see you, by the way. <laughs> I think everyone will always remember the game you played when you were down 2 all and low four. I even remember that game very well. <laughs> yes, that's the game that I feel like changed things, and um, I had to play some best tennis, and I did, and it was after that I was on fire and I was ready to take the beautiful trophy. Did it come natural to you to be that sort of brave on, on those big points? Because you had five winners to escape in that game. <laughs> yeah, I, um, yeah, I knew I had to take my chance. I had to be brave. I'm playing two-time two Grand Slam champion, and all respect to her, she played a really tough match, and every point was it was such a battle, and. A lot of moving, a lot of emotions on court from both sides, and yeah, I knew I needed to come up with the best shot and five best shots of my life. I mean, let's go. <laughs> it got me to win a Grand Slam, all right, I'll take it. Sophia, you were almost in tears after some of the points, and you were continuously muttering to yourself. What were you telling yourself at those points? Yeah, I felt that in the third set. I felt like um, I was getting closer to the title and something that I really want, but I knew I needed to somehow try and relax and, you know, just try to calm down. And um, I did a great job. I looked a few times to my box and they cheered for me, calmed me down, and, um, you know, it just paid off. Congratulations, Sophia. Thank you. Have you spoken to your mom yet? Um, everyone's asking that. <laughs> um, yeah, I called her right after the match just to tell her that everything's fine. I won, and she can just relax now because she's been really stressed at home, um, very superstitious. So, uh, yeah, she's just really happy. I told her I'm not going to be able to talk to you for hours, but uh, at least you know that I won, and I'm coming home, and you can give me the biggest hug of your life. Is she alive? No, she's with uh, my grandma and my sister and uh, dogs we have. Yeah. They watch the no, no, they don't watch. My mom cannot watch me, and even she knows the results that I want, she still won't watch. I can see that she's still nervous. So she doesn't like watching. It's fine. <laughs> you, uh, you play on the court with a lot of self-belief and confidence. Uh, you sound very confident off the court. I'm just wondering where you think that came from, and also maybe when was the last time you felt doubt? Um, I've always had that. I knew I needed to um, establish myself to get to where I am. And, you know, all the confidence has come with all the matches that I've had, the success I've had in 2019. WTA Most Improved Player of the Year, so <laughs> um, <laughs> FYI. Um, but, yeah, um, yeah, I've always had that. Um, match play has really helped me. And, um, all, you know, all the confidence that I'm getting is because of that. And I see that things are happening for me and everything is just falling into place. Remember the last time you had some doubts? Um, not, not really. I feel like 2019, I started off great with a first WTA title for me in Hobart. And after that, things just took off. And I had a great run in Paris, played my idol, Serena. And yeah, um, lost to Ash there, so got the revenge here. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, um, everything's just happening so fast for me. I'm just still on cloud nine right now. Congrats. So there's this video that shows this wide-eyed little girl being shown around the Miami Open by the motherly uh, Kim Kleisters. Yeah. And, and now in, what is it, 15, 16 years, you've gone through the juniors, beat Serena, and you now have this moment. How, how do you think you did it, and what do you want to say to Kim Kleisters? Um, I did it with all the belief that I've had, all the efforts that I've done, and to get to where I am right now. And, 
to Kim, I just want to say thank you so much for that day, for spending time with me, taking time off. I know she had a busy schedule, but she took time off and gave me some great words of wisdom and, you know, said some really great things about me and showed me around. And I was a really exciting. It was a really exciting moment for me. And um, I hope I can do that for someone else in the, in the future. I would love to. I know what it felt like. I've been there. And, um, yeah, just thank you so much. And thank you for tweeting at me. I, just, I mean, I haven't checked anything on social media. It's just blowing up. Uh, two weeks, I can't even check normal. But uh, I've seen a few tweets over, you know, Bianca tweeted, Billie Jean King tweet, uh, tweeted. So um, it's just all exciting. What did Billie say? I mean, she just said, congratulations, Sophia. Well done. And thank you to her. She was texting me after every match, congratulating me. So it's, a, it's an honor. Congratulations. You, you. You've spoken a lot about your emotions, and you can see that throughout the game as well. Where, where's the maturity come from at 21 years of age to pull yourself together on the biggest stage you've ever played on to um, yeah, be able to, to overcome some of those challenges that you faced? Um, well, I've played on bigger stadiums. I mean, I've played on big stadiums. Um, I feel like that helped me to get to where I am right now. I love the big sta I love the big stages. That's where I'm playing. I'm playing to play on that great stage, have this amazing atmosphere, and it's such a exciting it was such an exciting atmosphere everyone was just cheering and it's just such an honor they make it so much fun for me to play and it gives me hype and more motivation to keep going forward I mean I've made so many fans and thank you to them so much for coming and supporting me this past two weeks it's been an incredible journey for me are you, are you wise beyond your years then to, to be able to, to pull it together in, in such a big moment in your career yeah I'm so proud I mean obviously not many people can do that but I feel like mental toughness has been a huge part and I've worked on that over the past you know over the course of the years and uh yeah it's just paying off and thank you to my dad putting up with me <laughs> I can be stubborn but I love you still Pretty match for you. big match for you obviously um was, was there nerves beforehand or were you able to embrace the whole build-up no I was nervous before I've been nervous every match uh, Bethany tweeted, uh, I've been crying for every match, so uh, just a lot of emotions, but I knew I needed to put that aside and just uh, go out there, play, show the best I am, show my abilities and um, some great tennis, and I did that to all a 40 game. I mean, that game is going to be with me forever. The women's game is crying out for someone to dominate it with multiple majors. Do you think you can be that person? Do you think you can go on and win multiple slams? I would love to. I mean... Uh, it would be, it'd be amazing. Uh, but right now, I mean, I still can't believe what just happened, so I needed to somehow come down and uh, just let it all sink in. But hopefully I can just keep going, build up on this, everything that I've done these past two weeks, and just move forward. Ben, you might have a few quick questions. What were your thoughts when, after you lost the first set? How did you regroup? And then secondly, what were your thoughts when you walked in this room and saw everybody here? Because you looked pretty, pretty <laughs> shocked. Um, first question, first answer. Um, I was obviously devastated. I knew I didn't take my chances. Of course, she played some really good tennis. I'm playing two-time Grand Slam champion, and she's had so much experience. So I knew I needed to somehow just, you know, forget what happened and just move forward and just keep believing in myself. And yes, I came here. <laughs> I was very shocked by this room. I mean, so many of you guys are here, and I'm just not used to this. It's my first time, just first everything, and uh, taking it all in and handling it really well. So thank you guys for coming. <laughs> Have you ever had a different coach from your dad? And could you please also tell us what he taught you sort of throughout your life? I mean, what's the biggest lesson he, he taught you? Um, no, he's been my coach throughout my whole career. He's been there for me. and. Yeah, if I really have him to thank. We've been dreaming about this, and it's uh, it's a dream come true for us. And he's told me a lot of positive things. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He's uh, helping me with the game plan. He sees everything well, even though I don't like to admit it sometimes <laughs> to tell him he's right. But, uh, yeah, he really, really works hard. And uh, just thank you to him, and we can share this forever. Congratulations. You said the other day you were looking for, you were enjoying all the attention that sort of come with this yeah. run here. What are some things now you're looking forward to now that you're a Grand Slam champion that maybe you'll be able to experience? Um, I mean, I don't even know where to begin. It just happened, I don't know how long ago, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just such an honor to have my name on that beautiful trophy. It's uh, something I've dreamed about. And yeah, of course, it's just, it's an exciting moment for me and for my family. And I get to share this and Nothing. I mean, obviously, things are going to change for me, but um, we're just going to move forward, get ready for next tournaments. But right now, we got to figure out how to celebrate. <laughs> um, 
Can you just talk us through the moment when you went over to your dad at the end of the match and uh, what he said to you? And I mean, it looked towards the end of the match, he, he could barely watch himself, so I don't know if he might want to tell us what he was going through. <laughs> um, I mean, he was so happy. I was so happy. We shared this together, and yeah, he was like, What just happened? And I'm also just on cloud nine. I still can't believe what just happened. And um, he's just so happy. And he, um, yeah, I'm sure he is. You can ask him um, his emotions. He's really happy. <laughs> No, but he's just proud of me, and uh, I'm a tough cookie, but I did it, so, yeah. Thank you. When you are handed the, this trophy from Lindsay, uh, I realized how short you are, relatively, of course. But, no, no, relatively. <laughs> Anyways, so. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> what was the question? Sure. Yeah, what about him? When you were handed the trophy from Lindsay, oh, Oh, I I didn't know. Okay. Um. <laughs> no, no, just <laughs> co just compared to Lindsay. Um. So. Oh yeah, yeah. She's really tall, obviously. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's tall, but um. Yeah, I was so excited to see her with me there. Okay, so that is not my question. <laughs> so my question is: uh, At any point in your career, did you think that you are maybe too short to be be a top player, or what did you do to overcome your size? I got that. You look at me. I got that. <laughs> um, no, I, um, I, I didn't think anything about my height. Obviously, yeah, I was short back then, but now I'm fine. And size doesn't matter at this point. You can play on any level. Or you can play at this level, and you can make incredible things happen. So size really doesn't matter. It just matters how tough you are and just me mental toughness. Yeah, um, just following on, on your father question mm -hmm. there, you did come across to the box, then you went to walk away again, he called you back again <laughs> and had some specific instructions for you, it looked like. Any idea what they were again? I hope I followed it. Um, yeah, he just told me, you know, good luck with the speech. He just told me what, a few things what to say, and I told him, I know what to say. I mean, I'm 21, I can do this. But um, I was, of course, I was so nervous for that speech. It was uh, the biggest speech of my life, and um, I think I did a good job, I hope. So much has been made about your dad, which is the credit is there. But who have the influential women been on the tour? We've seen Denara in your box. We've seen Bethany in your box mm -hmm. this week. And I think Kathy Rinaldi picking you for the Fed Cup final a couple years ago was really big, too. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, Denara, um, we're just really good friends. So I just asked her to come and support me. And of course, thanks to her for coming. Uh, Bethany, I mean, we just we had a great title in Beijing. So um We've become closer, and I'm just so happy she was there and if she was a part of it. And what was the last thing you asked? Kathy. Kathy. Yes, I love her. Um, she's, I'm such, it's such an honor for me to go to Fed Cup. Um, I love coming there. I love being on the team with her. It's such a great team spirit. And, you know, I'm sure she's going to give me the biggest hug once I get there and just tell me, I always believed in you, kiddo. Let's take this Fed Cup now. <laughs> no, but I'm just, it's such an honor just to be a part of the team. And, yeah, when she invited me to Prague to play for the final, I feel like after that, I really got to experience what's it like. It was a huge stage. It was best arena, and it was just really, it was an honor for me to be a part of it. Yeah, congrats again. Uh, you're number one in America, uh, but uh, can you tell us something about the influence that you think you got from your Russian background? I mean, you, you, if you probably saw, I don't know, Kurnikova, maybe not, Sharapova, and, and the others, uh, do you have a special strength when you play because you had uh, somehow your family had also some to make some many sacrifices to do what what you got? You think that helped you and uh, the influence? Yes, I definitely think it helped me. I've looked up to Maria Sharapova and the Kunikova. I've uh, followed their matches when I was little, and I feel like I got the feisty. I saw what's what's it like? I mean, she won a Grand Slam at 17, Maria, which was, I remember watching it on TV, and yeah, I feel like that definitely helped me. I've got part of Russian stuff inside me, and the fight and fears that I have, and trying to just be confident and do what I do best. And thank you to my parents for giving me the American dream. Ben, and then a colleague on the mic. On that American side, you are now also American number one for the first time in your career. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's exciting. I'm so happy. Uh, I was told, yeah, if I would win, I'd be number seven. Um, it's just such an honor. I'm, you know, I love representing U.S. and I love just, I just love it. And uh, 
it's just an honor. It's like a, everything's just coming into place, a dream come true. Everything that I've done and all the her hard work I've been doing is paying off. Following up on that question, you mentioned Serena being one of your idols before, and now you're passing her in the rankings. Has that sunk in? I mean, what does that mean to you? Um, no, it hasn't sunk in yet. Um, everything is just still a blur for me. It's uh, I just can't believe what happened. But, yeah, it's, it's just great. I feel like I'm doing some great things for American tennis, and it's, it's such an honor. You know, I've watched Serena. You know, I've been following her, all the slams that she's been winning, and it's just it's a special feeling just to be – ahead of her, you know, and um, I'm just super excited and I can't wait to compete, be on the same team with her at Fed Cup. Okay, I'm going to take one more for our champion. Uh, Chris, over here. Yeah. Um, I hear we need to get the Cartier store ready in Melbourne yes. tomorrow. Is that correct? <laughs> You've got your eye on a few things? Yeah, I got my eye on a few things. Bethany tweeted that. Um, so, yeah, everyone's talking about that. I'm super excited and um, let's just, yeah, I'm just going to get the gifts that I want to get. Yeah, ring and uh, the nail bracelet. <laughs>